Hello and today we are back with another topic which is very useful and talking about treatment of epilepsy in pregnancy. So as you know epilepsy is a condition where people get repeated fits or convulsions and fits can cause harm to the patient's suffering. In the case of pregnancy it becomes important to treat because it is taking care of two lives. One is the mother and also the baby who is developing and growing inside the mother. Now very often we see that because of concern that the anti-epileptic drugs can cause harm to the fetus or the baby, the medicines are stopped. Sometimes the patients on their own they stop it and sometimes with the doctor's advice or you know out of some other concern the medicines are stopped. But I would like to highlight that if the mother gets a seizure during pregnancy that can cause more harm to the baby as compared to using a safe drug which can prevent a seizure during pregnancy. So what are the some of the important points that one should take care? So first of all if a woman is seizure free for two years or longer then in consultation with a neurologist the medicines can be tapered and stopped if a woman is planning to have a pregnancy. But suppose you know pregnancy is unplanned or the woman is already pregnant then it is better to continue the medicines to prevent the seizures. We know that some medicines are more safe than others and some medicines may be unsafe in that sodium valproate especially at a dose of more than 600 mg per day can cause fetal malformations. Topiramate also can cause fetal malformations. So as far as possible these two drugs should be definitely avoided. If sodium valproate has to be used then the dosage should be lower that is 400 to 600 mg which has been shown to cause lesser amount of side effects on the fetus. Coming to some of the other safer drugs levetiracetam and oxcarbazepine they have, and lamotrigine so these drugs have been found to be safer in pregnancy compared to other drugs. So if a woman is planning to get pregnant please discuss with your neurologist and if you know if there is enough time then the doctor would stop the unsafer drugs and switch over to the safer drugs. Also important is to take single drug as compared to multiple drugs. So if a woman is taking two or three drugs the doctor may try to reduce it to single drug and the drug that is used also we have to use the lowest possible dose that can control the seizures because lower dose and lesser number of medicines can cause lesser harm to the developing fetus. And also folic acid supplementation during pregnancy is very important. So I hope that you know you found this useful because the concern is there but you know there have been several pregnancy registries and we have data on many anti-epileptic drugs that they are safer and so it is better to continue the medicines, prevent the seizures so that the mother and the baby can be kept safe rather than stopping the medicines all abruptly and then suffering from seizures and sometimes the seizures can be multiple and repeated which can cause more harm to the mother and the baby. So please like this video, post your comments and subscribe to this channel if you want more informative and educative videos in the future.